Sure, just to, if I may, just to follow up. Uh, certainly, Senator. Just, just to be quick. So, Director has actually, you, Senator, if I may interrupt. Um, one of the important points in both Marissa and I failed to recall it until you provoked the question. Uh, Captain Perry had issued a letter with regard to his perspective as captain of the ports. Uh, we do not feel the letter was objectively written. We feel the process and the opinion are flawed, and we have filed an appeal in that matter as well. That is a non-court venue, but we feel there are a number of lapses of judgment and evaluation in that letter. So just, just a quick follow-up. I appreciate the pipe not being anywhere in Rhode Island waters. Obviously, it's close enough to the, uh, the land. Has there been any, have you had a conversation with your counterpart or counterparts, I'm not certain how Massachusetts is nece necessarily structured from a de environmental management perspective on the issue of the four point, four and a quarter mile pipe in a pipe in, in that issue? That'd be my last question on that. I would admit here and in other venues, if necessary, to have had conversations with Secretary Ian Bowles, uh, Commissioner Laurie Burt, who both have uh, comparable roles in the state of Massachusetts. They have a much heavier administrative structure than we do um, about matters. You know, the, the issue of regional energy has been before the New England Governor's Eastern Canadian Premier's Working Group for the five years I've been involved. And, and so there, there, you know, there are free-flowing conversations around these meetings. I chaired for a, a while the, the New England Governor's Environment Committee, and so these things are discussed. We, we share perspective. Uh, Commissioner Burt is a, a lawyer by profession, and, and my background as an, an agronomist and others, we have synergies that help us each understand and grow case. Thank you, Director. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm about to wrap it up. Have you concluded your presentation, sir? I have. I would just, I know Russell uh, gave considerable thought, you know, and we'd be prepared to give you a two-hour lecture on the, the background of and what constitutes a water quality certification. I can assure you that there are few better than Russell with regard to the details. And so if, in, if you, Mr. Chair, or other members of the committee have a question you wish to ask him, or, or wish to later, um, or if Russell had a brief point, um, then we would conclude at your discretion. Okay. Um, I am going to ask that, that we refer that if you could perhaps deliver that to us, and I will make sure that it has uh, adequate uh, distribution to the members. And again, I want to thank you, Director, and your staff for being here. I do want to ask you um, to consider the entire, if you will, Catholic perspective on this, the universal perspective, because one of the first things I learned in law school, I had somebody come in and they said to me, there was this problem and the law said this, federal law, and he said, so what do you do about that? And I started thinking all the ways to try to get around it, which is what I'm good at, and he said, well, what we did was change the law. And it strikes me that if for a good purpose, the law has not allowed the interests of the state of Rhode Island and the people of the state of Rhode Island concern about uh, the singular resource, which is the bay, and not allowed our Department of Environmental Management or Coastal Resources or the people to have an adequate say in what is coming into that bay. I mean, other than Chesapeake, I don't think there's any place that is so intricate to a community as the bay is to this state. And if, therefore, there are ways that we can have those concerns addressed and it requires an adjustment of federal law, I at least ask you to consider whether or not that language could be gotten over to us and we could ask our delegation to perhaps respond in a proper fashion. Senator, I know you would find it shocking to think that, you know, a shy and retiring guy as myself would offer those things, but I would, in a, in a heartbeat, offer you suggested language for both federal or state statute if I felt that it strengthened our case, strengthened our position, and provided the citizens and the users, not just of the bay, but of the, the surrounding ocean waters, 
and, and the quality. This is a quality of life issue, well beyond those immediate uses of the bay. It's the viewers of the bay. It's the opportunity to see, to derive a, a tranquility and a, an emotional value that is, is, is impossible for some to, to quantify in dollars. Um, it's the, you know, I have a passion about why we need to defend that, so I, I applaud you and the members of the committee for your commitment to it, and we will do anything we can. All right, thank you very much, Director. Again, in the future, I am going to try to keep the meetings to roughly this length, which would be about an hour and a half. I thank all of you for being in attendance. Certainly, um, all of you, I believe, know how to contact us if you want to express opinions outside this realm. Um, but again, uh, hopefully, we will let everyone have an opportunity to let them let us know your concerns. Thank you, Director. Thank you, uh, Commission members. We are adjourned. <laughs>